What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of McGrath Fishing. Welcome back to the North Woods. I'm actually going to head out with my dad today on his boat. We're going to go search for some smallmouth and kind of see whatever bite. It is already 2 o'clock right now so later on when this wind dies down, I'm probably going to do some topwater fishing because the topwater bite has been pretty solid to say the least because of that mayfly hat. So we're going to head out right now. We actually are already out but we're going to start fishing. I'll strike you guys in the chest. Hopefully we smoke some smallmouth and then the topwater bite later. Here we go. All right, guys, first cast. Um, I ordered these hair jigs in the mail the other day. This is an eighth ounce, uh, I think Andy's custom lures, bass lures or something like that. So a tactic on this is you honestly just want to slow reel it, keep it right off the bottom. And the bite on this is going to be super light. Oh, there it is. On the hair jig. Okay. There's guys, first one on the hair jig. Nice small mouth. Nice fish. Guys, we're gonna focus on a lot of pre-spawn fish today. But we also are just, because the we have a cold front coming, it's going to be 28 degrees tonight too. And we're actually in a cold front, but it's just nicer today. We need to figure out what these smallmouth are still doing. We had a ton of pre-spawners by our pier last night. Oh, I think I just had it. Oh, he hit it. Nice slow reel, guys. Got this big old smallie. Mondo, guys. Absolute tank. This is every bit of four and a half, four and three quarters maybe. Hey guys, we found another bed. Um, fishing's definitely been a little bit slower. Water temp's definitely down. 61.7. We are still finding bedlock smallies. There we go. Dang, that's a fat pre-spawner. That's a blimp. Look at this. All right, guys, third one of the day. Absolute pre-spawn blimp. Here burst. All right, guys, another bed. Decent smallmouth on it. See if we can get this guy to eat the hair jig. I, I just, I get close and the trolley motor there goes over it or I go way the f beyond it. It's burning slack water. Eat shit. There we go. God, they're loving these hair jigs. Thanks. Loving the hair jig, guys. Another decent one. I'll take it. I think that's the fourth one of the day. Nice. Tighten your drag a little. I, yeah, I got a problem now. What do you mean? That's a nice one. That's a real nice one. How do you feel? Oh, here. That's nice. Never fished a hair jig before. Don't know what the hell they even are. 
but it worked. Fifth one of the day, pretty decent one too. All in the hair jigs. Guys, GoPro just died, but we're hooked onto another one for the sixth of the day. And, oh, that's a really nice one, Dad. Bat. I think it's a net. That's a big one. That thing's huge. I have no idea what you did with the pliers. I think I bent the shit out of my hook. Yeah, it did. Dang, that's a nice one. Another absolute tank. Probably three and a half to three and three quarters. Bring this guy right back in. Oh, he's got it. Oh, that was sick. That was sweet. All right, guys, another one. Check this one out. This thing launched like three feet in the air on the hair jig. What do you think, Dad? It's awesome. Here, first time ever fishing with a hair jig. So here, whatever they are, you might use. Whatever brand they are, they're working good, but pretty cool. Beautiful fish, though. Beautiful fish. Guys, we are up at the house. We had a pretty decent day. I think we ended with about eight or nine, I think, and I have to go back to the footage. We had a couple opportunities to get a few more, but it was just pretty hard holding my dad's boat on some certain beds. Nice, dickhead. But I don't know, it was a good day. It's always a good day fishing with my dad. It's kind of a shit show out there just as the winds, the mayflies are getting bad. But I want to finish this video out strong and go for some top water smallmouth. The top water bite has been pretty good at night and early in the morning. I think, so, I, just, I, think I just stepped out of duck. What? So I'm gonna head down, take the prowler down, cast off the pier, the bite, it's just been insane. And you guys are gonna see this, like the small mouth are literally all over right outside my pier. Munching on mayflies is a really good active bite. So I think I'm gonna throw a small popper, try and mimic one of the mayflies, something like that. I actually went down last night. I put on my story, but I didn't film it. We caught some small mouth on top water. I was throwing a top water spook, a little bit bigger bait, but I got some hits on it. So we're gonna go down right now, 7 p.m. Let's finish this video strong, here we go. Guys, let's finish this video strong. I like that hoodie. Thank you. Tommy, is that you? Yeah. Hey. How's it going? Good. Jesse. Oh, what's up? How you doing, man? Look, trying to catch some fish tonight. I didn't even know you fished this lake. Yeah, I appreciate you guys having me. That's awesome. I had no idea that was you. I literally just saw the victory. I'm like, oh, no way. <laughs> Spotted it from a mile away. Oh. Oh, my God. On the hair jig. You taking off? Yeah, I'm gonna All righty, let me know how you do. Right, you too, man. Good talking with you. Oh, I'm recording, I didn't even know. Guys, that was, that was Jesse from St. Croix, had no clue. I wanna start throwing top water, but, oh, big small, he just followed the, the hair jig in. I, wanted to, I want the wind to calm down just a little bit more. Now we can just top this video off and we land some topwater smallmouth. And one just, you guys saw that. <laughs> oh, right by me. All right, guys, I got the topwater out. I'm gonna downsize completely and use this little hula popper. It is missing the skirt, but I'm gonna try and match a hatch with these uh, mayflies everywhere. Yeah, here, duck. Go eat the mayflies over there. Oh, 
there we go. That's a small guy, but it's a start. Stop, stop. Hey guys, a second fish, smallest one of the trip. Go over there. Well, one on top water, one on the hair jig, and then a great afternoon in the boat. We are going to pack everything up and hit it in the morning. All right guys, next time you see me, we'll be on the Sony in the morning. See? Right when I press record. All right guys, it's the next morning. I could have ended the video last night because we ended with like nine or 10 fish total, but I don't want to film some shitty video for you guys. I want to actually be a slam fest. So we are launching the nitro right now. I'm with my dad. He already has three fish this morning, three smallmouth off the pier. I was up at the house. It is 10.30 right now. But again, I could have ended that video with eight or nine fish call it a day but again i want to go above and beyond film some banger video for you guys so we're gonna go out right now and hopefully we smack them here we go first cast i'm throwing a hair jig back to the seven foot medium st croix rod fast action my dad's throwing a what's your rod seven foot medium heavy fast action big st croix guys guys we got the millenniums on today the rod trees But as I throw a Lindy rig off the back, you're going crawler? Yeah, that's a work, that's a work this morning. Do you like that seat out back there? It gives you a hell of a lot more room. Yeah, it actually gives you like room to maneuver. You were slow reeling uh, for the hair jigs, right? Yeah. This pace. It's about a little, maybe a little bit slower, actually. Wasn't it cool when they hit it, though? Oh, yeah. Guys, check this out. This is sweet, though. We got the rod trees on, but I was about to throw a live bait rod out. So we're on. actually. First one on. Yeah, this is the first rod ever going in there. Are you on? Yep. Oh, it was huge. Why didn't you say anything? Wow. That's in deep water. That's what I was trying to tell you. Did you did it just get taken? Do you have it? Yep. God, did I call that or what? Yeah, you did. Right, stay on. Stay on. Excellent. <laughs> nice job. Oh my god. Pre-spawn giant. Pre-spawn giant, Dad. Let's see that thing. Oh my god. Let's get it on a quick wait. So three pounds, zero ounces. So you got to, oh, three pounds, one ounce. So it's three pounds, five ounces. He'll stay on there. Dang. We moved in a little bit and there's a bed here that I never knew that was here. So I'm gonna throw my hair jig on it, see if I can get it. We're more going, we're going more for pre-spawn fish today, but if we find some beds, we're obviously gonna cast at it. Water is super crispy clear. Yeah, no. Oh, that was so sweet. I dropped it right on it. Dropped it right down on it. Get it up. Oh my God. Mammoth. That's a tank. Guys, absolute tank. Oh Holy my smoke. God. Three, three, seven, five. So three and three quarters. Beauty fish, guys. Absolute tank. That thing is huge. Beautiful fish. Can we yeah, get a picture of this one? Bring him right to you. Oh, spicy one. 
Wow. Damn. Another Another giant. Another pig. Another decent little fish. Take that on the hair jig. I don't know. I seriously have no idea if this is bad or not. Yeah, it is. No, not, no, not, no, not. It's a beat down. It's a beat down. They're getting a little bit smaller, but bite's heavy today. Bite is heavy. That is going to be a beat down today. Casting these spawning areas uh, are super rocky over here. There are beds around, but there's also fish cruising everywhere. If you look down, look into the water, you'll just see fish swimming on by. My GoPro is off. Well, guys, was doing a nice slow reel. Cast it straight that way, nice slow reel. Absolutely smoked it, big pre-spawner. As you can tell, kind of already staging. Look at the tail, already making its bed somewhere over there. Full of eggs. Big, nice Bessie. Guys, the bite is absolutely fired between last night and today. I think we're well over, I would say 12 to 15. I'm really not sure where we're at. I'd have to go through the footage, but I'm gonna end this video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please remember to leave a like if you guys are not subscribed to the channel. Subscribe right down here. We are the smallest channel doing the biggest things. Two videos every single week, Tuesdays and Fridays at six o'clock PM, and we are out. Early mornings, late night cruising, up and down the crystal cove and through the uneasy stream. Fishing, Corona drinking, we're just out here catching the American dream. Lay back, relax, McGrath fishing is all you need.